based on this, it seems like shareholders are reacting really well to it. Well, the shares are up close to 5% uh, after they did complete that review of the construction business Abbey Group. I think the market was concerned this was going to have some effects on their full year 2013 numbers. Uh, there were some discrepancies in the reporting of profits and losses in a couple of their road projects in Victoria and Queensland. But the company has, uh, I think this raised some questionability, uh, some questions over some of these individual projects and how profitable they were. But after the company said today it's not going to affect the full year 2013 uh, result, I think this has lifted some uh, uncertainty over the stock and the shares are enjoying a good bounce today. Uh, for Lendlease, the performance has been, uh, regardless of this, still quite strong. I mean, the stock's up year to date around 25%. Uh, the property sector in general has performed very well. Uh, Lendlease, uh, sorry, sorry, Lendlease is up around 11%. The property sector in general is up around 25%. So a strong performance given uh, investor sort of preference for moving away from sort of cyclical uh, sectors in the, in the market at the moment. But full year 2013 is shaping up to be quite a good year for Lendlease. There's a few major projects going on for them. Uh, Barangaroo in Sydney is going to be a huge one for 2013. Looking at profit adding of around 80 to 90 million dollars from that. Um, also on top of that there will be further uh, development and construction fees. Uh, looking at the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, that's going to add around $26 million in full year 2013. And then the sale of the Greenwich uh, Regeneration Project is going to deliver around $40 million in 2013. Uh, so the construction business has remained quite strong for Lendlease. Uh, it really is the big driver of earnings for the business and their infrastructure development business has been improving. Uh, the results for that uh, for that division had been a little bit soft previously but some some new pro projects there are starting to boost revenues uh, but re residential has been sort of a key weakness for property and lend lease in general the residential market has remained very subdued but now there's a little bit of chatter around the market that 2013 could actually be a bit of a turnaround year for the residential market so lend lease positive outlook for 2013 um, if you were looking for a bit of a turnaround in residential though uh, there are a few other uh, a few other companies that are probably a little bit more leveraged towards a turnaround and residential, something like a Borrell or possibly a James Hardy. What about Paladin Energy? It's got its quarterly production results out today. This company has a habit of disappointing. How did these results compare, Tim? It does have a, a habit of disappointing Paladin, but uh, these results came in pretty much on, in, in line with guidance. Uh, we saw production down close to 6% on the quarter, but this was expected. There was some planned maintenance on uh, one of their mines for about 16 days during the quarter. But I think Paladin in the past, there's been several big issues with this stock. First of all, their production levels have been very inconsistent and the market doesn't like inconsistency. But this now appears to be stabilising. Uh, uh, production is becoming more stable for the uh, for the company it's been stable this year through the quarterly results so that is a positive uh, debt has been another issue um, gearing levels currently around 40 percent are on the high side uh, there were concerns over how the company is going to service this debt uh, but looking like with costs coming down and production on the increase they could well uh, decrease this level to around 30 percent by full year 2013 which would be a positive and this would be really helped by that 200 million dollar prepayment we saw uh, that they've agreed of a six year off-take agreement uh, and a $200 million prepayment is going to help them pay down the $134 million in debt which is coming due early next year. I think that the final issue facing Paladin is that uranium price which has uh, been has, low, has fallen significantly after we saw those developments in uh, Japan last year. Um, it's been a little bit soft this past quarter as well, the spot price back below $50 at the moment. Uh, but Paladin did say in their results they achieved an average price of just below $50. Now some Bell Potter research shows that $50 is a key level for the uranium price for Paladin. This is pretty much the level that they need to be achieving to pay the bills. So the, the good news there I suppose is that they're achieving that close to that $50 level at the moment. But uh, I think the market is expecting uranium prices to slowly increase, but the pace of increase is going to be quite slow over coming years. Uh, but a positive for earnings, you should see production moving forward, uh, moving higher and costs start coming down. So we could even see Paladin turn a profit next year or possibly 2014.